Okay, on my uh, previous re video I did regarding um, Ebola and how I said, you know, with all the reports coming out, uh, that I basically said something where I said I smell a rat. And uh, this is one of the stories I broke a couple days ago. And this is why, personally, I smell a rat. Okay. And also, in a future video, hopefully in the next couple of hours or so I'm going to have put up regarding some very historical significances of a four blood moon tetrad that occurred, that occurred in the second century and which was corresponded to a plague that uh, swept through the Roman Empire okay and if you look at the United States the way the United States is run it is very similar to how the Roman Empire or the Roman Republic was run so, and it's interesting to note that these blood moons are basically only visible in the Western world, you know, Australia, United States. And then when you look at the aspect of the churches and these types of things, most of the church in the Western world is lukewarm. They're apostate. They're, you know, they're basically um, government lackeys, okay, under 501c3. But... Notice here, this is out of blacklisted news, news chopper called Ebola cleanup crew, notice anything missing. Now, we scroll down here, and you look at this photo, this was taken by news chopper, HD chopper 8, called crews cleaning the sidewalk outside the IV apartments where the Ebola patient stayed. You see that right there? It's power washer, and here you see these unprotected individuals spraying the sidewalk of the vomit that protruded out of this Ebola patient's mouth okay and they're spraying it with a power washer on the sidewalk now common sense will tell you that you know sidewalks have drains storm drains and these types of things and yet these guys are unprotected this is why I smell a rat um, I look at this and I see that this is done by design okay and it's just it's just common sense why are these guys not protected why aren't they wearing any protective gear and these types of things again notice anything missing these outraged citizens did and you can see on their twitter pages um chopper eight caught crews cleaning sidewalk outside apartments of ebola patient um and obviously this guy's saying good lord I mean, it, 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 it doesn't make sense and then this person goes, um, call me crazy, but cleaning up Ebola vomit with a pressure washer seems like a lousy idea. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when the water and all these types of things gets transported into a storm drain. And you can't tell me there's no storm drains next to sidewalks. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's just common sense. <laughs> Especially with a disease or a virus that is... Uh, known to be one of the most dangerous viruses, if not the most dangerous virus in the world. <laughs> you know, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. That's why I said I smell a rat, that this is done deliberately. <clears throat> Again, it is a good thing Ebola lasts for up to six days on hard surfaces. <laughs> and then we just don't get it. So, I mean, I mean, these people obviously understand that this is not normal to have unprotected cleanup crews cleaning up vomit off of a sidewalk with Ebola virus in it with a pressure washer spraying it into the street so again all of this stuff to me when I look at it is being done by design now I want to take you to this video here I'm gonna play it airborne Ebola info is being removed from internet flight path of patient zero is revealed and I'm gonna play this video here and then this will conclude this video so truth be told truth be known stay safe God bless we'll see you next time bye bye the health agency getting caught here and it's big it's the silver bullet to put in these guys they're caught in the act we nailed them in this well people were like don't you have more proof I'm like yeah, we do. We have the CDC changing the criteria and admitting it. Well, to my amazement, 
I go to this video and people are all over it like they've already hit the link. They've scrubbed it. I'm like, what? So I go into the video and I click on it, click on the link, and sure enough, it takes you to a BS page. But the top of the page, and here we go, this is what it brings you to. Preventing Ebola, all this, it's garbage. This isn't what was there. But let me show you something. You see this? You see this? CDC changes the criteria for Ebola transmission. It admits being within three feet or within the same room can cause infection. Do you see that at the top? Exactly. That's what they're trying to hide. They're not that slick. So the URL, if you have the eyes to see it, gives away the truth. And once again, they've been caught scrubbing the truth. This is ridiculous. Now, over here, we see that the U.S. Airlines is scrambling after, they're saying hundreds of passengers had contact with this Ebola patient. Now, not hand-to-hand -hand hugging contact. They're talking within three feet or the same room, as I just showed you. That's why they're freaking out. Within a plane, it's like within the same room. So, people are like, all right, the U.S. officials are refusing to release any details on the itinerary. Left us in the dark, including which city he connected through, because there is no flights that go directly from Liberia to Dallas or Brussels to Dallas. So do you know what that means? To dig a little bit further, we end up finding out the truth on where this man came from and where he went. Well, more details anyway. This is the route. Still don't have flight numbers, but we have a route in which they're releasing, and it shows what they have not stated and not been wanting to state is that this man landed in Brussels, hopped on another plane, and landed in Washington, Dulles, hopped on another plane, and then landed in Dallas, Fort Worth. And then was off into the open. This is the track this man made. And they've admitted United Airlines was involved in at least one of these flights or multiple flights here. So this is big time. Now we've got an idea of the path, where he came from for real. And they've not been wanting to state it. But Washington was a pit stop. So Washington is going to be another place to keep an eye, eye on this. You hear me guys? Washington. And if it just by chance pops up anywhere else in the United States and it just just so happens to be in Washington, D.C., you shouldn't even have to ask the question of where it came from. They're going to continue to tell you that this man shows no signs or symptoms, but I'm going to tell you guys this much. This isn't something to freak out about. Everyone, this is a, a highly tense situation. Parents are already trying to pull their kids out of schools. And look, check this out. This is an area all through this region, all the schools right here on this map. And this unknown is a lot higher than 10. Look at those schools peppered around the area right there. All around through here in Dallas. That is what has happened here. All of those kids he has been exposed to. And that was after he landed. Days. And if you guys haven't heard, this guy went to the hospital and was sent off with antibiotics. But then was later seen by witnesses vomiting in the street. In the street. Where the people ran out of the house saying, he got out of the house. Oh, he's sick. An ambulance came and got him. Picked him up and took him to the hospital. That's the truth. That's how he got to the hospital. He was out in the street vomiting with Ebola. Did anyone go back and clean that mess up? I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's, they've already messed up. And it's not because of a mistake or anything like that. It's because they're doing this by design. You don't let this happen. You just do not let this happen in a real situation when you care when you truly care about your country, when you truly care about your people, when you truly care about the safety. But what we know at this point, 
looking at the actions of these billionaires, the comments they make about depopulation, Georgia Guidestones with dates of 2014, and then quickly removed and crushed. And now you're, you're telling me after the CDC comes out and states, it is inevitable. That same guy, I covered it day in, day out. And now I go back and every single one of my links are being scrubbed. Guys, they're at work. This is a full court press to try to keep this information away from the people. And they cannot keep it away for too long. Because at some point they're gonna have to they're gonna have to explain all of this. Once it's discovered in another spot, in another person, and people start asking how they never had no direct contact, it's gonna come out. You're going to be like, well, now we know it can spread uh, within someone in the same room. They're going to try and break it softly. By then, it's too late. They need to just come out and state it. I showed you. They tried to scrub it in this article, and it's right there. They changed the criteria to being within three feet of the same room. Look it up. Where's that at? Why are they not telling the people that right now? Like I said, this isn't nothing to freak out about. It's about knowledge. Knowledge is power. People want to freak out over this. They're going to be flopping around on the floor like a fish. It's not good. I'm going to leave links as always, but I wanted to share with you guys here exactly where this guy came from or the track in which they're saying he came from. Still have no flight numbers, anything like that. So that's what I'm going to work on from here getting those specific details, but we do know a, a few more key things. Washington is now on the map. It's been Dabu 7, eyes open. Okay, on my uh, previous video, video I did regarding um, Ebola and how I said, you know, with all the reports coming out, uh, that I basically said something where I said I smell a rat. And uh, this is one of the stories I broke a couple days ago, and this is why, personally, I smell a rat, okay? And also, in a future video, hopefully, within the next couple of hours or so, I'm going to have put up regarding some very historical significances of a four-blood moon tetrad that occurred, that occurred in the second century, and which was corresponded to a plague that... Uh, swept through the Roman Empire, okay, and if you look at, you know, there are basically um, government lackeys, okay, under 501c3, but notice here, this out of blacklisted news, news chopper called Ebola cleanup crew, notice anything missing, now, we scroll down here, and you look at this photo, this was taken by a news chopper at the United States, the way the United States is run. It is very similar to how the Roman Empire, or the Roman Republic, was run. So, and it's interesting to note that these blood moons are basically only visible in the Western world. You know, Australia, United States. And then when you look at the aspect of the churches and these types of things, most of the church in the Western world is lukewarm. They're apostate. They're HD Chopper 8 call crews cleaning the sidewalk outside the IV apartments where the Ebola patients stayed. You see that right there? It's a power washer. And here you see these unprotected individuals spraying the sidewalk of the vomit that protruded out of this Ebola patient's mouth. Okay. And they're spraying it with a power washer on the sidewalk. Now, 